Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hello, my beautiful Aries, my kings and queens, my baby bosses. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into your energy reading. I have a poem that I'm going to share with you guys as well. And when I was tapping into your energy, I heard the song by Justin Timberlake and T.I., um, Dead and Gone. Okay, so um, the old me is dead and gone. That's how the song is. And so basically, you guys are not looking back to the past. You guys have, have had a complete death and rebirth in your situation. You're no longer looking at things the same. You're no longer looking at certain people the same. You can see uh, their true colors, but they also can see that you have had a major transformation. So there's a community of people or family members or the community where you live at and your family members. They're in shock by your transformation. They're in shock by your level up. They're in shock because you have been proving everybody wrong when it comes to your intuition, when it comes to your gift, when it comes to the fact that you're not crazy, when it comes to the fact that you're very intuitive and intelligent and that um, you have mastered yourself. You have transformed your life, okay? And this is something that these people can't even deny to themselves anymore because they're watching everything that you're doing. They're noticing that you are not the same, they're, that you are not the same person that they used to pick on, they used to manipulate, they used to control, okay? That they, basically that there's no way that they can come towards you on the same BS because you had a transformation and you are standing firm in your truth, okay? Now is the time to let go of anger or pain because right now it's time to stand 10 toes down, okay? Because it's like all eyes are on you right now. So basically, you have to try to stay in your zone. You have to try to stay focused on what you're doing and not be paying attention to what's going on everywhere around you because what's going on everywhere around you could be a whole bunch of distractions. And so Spirit wants you to um, be very discerning at this time, okay? Choose wisely what you give your energy and attention to right now because you are mastering your mind and your abilities and you're not looking back, okay? Because you, for somebody watching this video, you had several instances in your life where God has saved you right on time, right before something bad would happen to you or right before something was um, taking place in your life, God would always intervene right on time and um, pretty much bring you back to life, pretty much uh, protect you um, from illness, from sickness, from accidents, from whatever. You guys have always escaped that death energy because you're very important to what's happening on the earth right now because you're a very powerful light worker earth angel or a healer okay so yeah let's get right into this poem and then i'm gonna see what spirit has to say for your reading this poem is called be prepared for some of you guys be prepared because good news is coming good news is about to show up in your life okay so master your mind and your thoughts Invite good news. Invite good energy. Do not sit there and um, doubt your blessing because that can block the good news. But your your good news is coming, okay? Because that card just flew right out when I before I started recording and I shuffled my deck because I like to shuffle all my decks before I record. So yeah, that card flew right out and I just left it there. Okay, so be prepared. As I sit in silence and meditate, there is a message I must share. And I will not hesitate to say, be prepared. Share love and light and no longer be scared. So many changes happening around the world. The truth is that Jesus Christ and all galactic federations are working together to banish any evil forces from our existence. For years, they have controlled us and driven us into fear. But all these lies have awakened us to the truth. We are all Father God's troops. He said no more suffering at the hands of wicked men. He always had a plan. So do your part to expand your higher self, sharing knowledge and wisdom. We are all evolving. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for that poem. Now let's get into the Oracle cards and see what's the main energy. My beautiful Aries, somebody's coming to make you a promise or somebody made you a promise. Maybe they didn't keep their promise. Hmm. 
Maybe they didn't keep their promise. Somebody made you a promise and you could be hurt. You're, you could This person could have really hurt your feelings because this person made you a promise but didn't keep their promise. It's because there was a collaboration of people working together, okay, to make sure that this person didn't come through with their promise that they made to you. There was a collaboration. This is collaboration, okay, of a group of people trying to stop somebody from coming towards you with a promise ring, with an engagement ring, with a proposal or an offer, or whatever the case may be, trying to delay something for you. Collaboration. For somebody else watching, you could be collaborating with a, a person or a group of people, working together on something. You could be working with a team of people, or there's going to be a collaboration when it comes to your job, work, or business ventures for somebody watching. Thank you, Spirit. Give me the messages. Okay, on this channel message, I forgot to mention, I picked up on a couple names. I picked up on the name Shelly, Sheila, Arnold, Wendy, Carlton, Priscilla, and Franny. Somebody could have been named Fran or Franny because I picked up on that name as well. All right, so let's get right in. Okay. You could be um, responsible for taking care of somebody, Aries. You guys, for somebody watching, you could be responsible for somebody's care, for caring for somebody or caring for someone's child. And um, so maybe you need to say, take some time out for yourself to rejuvenate your energy or meditate or take a break from work or take some time out for yourself here. Okay, I see you getting some sort of financial gain as well. Okay, so financial gain is here. God is about to reward you for all your hard work. Here goes collaboration again. Okay, so financial gain, collaboration, and real estate. All right? So for somebody watching, you could work in the real estate. Uh, you can work in real estate with a team of people, and you're about to get a huge financial blessing, a huge financial gain, maybe a selling of a property or something like that. And, and for somebody here, you could be receiving the money that you need to purchase a home or a property or rent a home. And this real estate agent or, pro or company is going to help you to, to get the home that you like or the home that's best for you. For somebody else, there's something to do with a home or property dealing with real estate here. Okay, a robbery. Okay, so somebody could be could have planned some sort of robbery. Somebody could have stole somebody's computer, laptop, information, somebody's money. This could be a cyber thief. Okay, this could be a hacker or a scammer. Be careful with those hackers and scammers out there, guys, because they're out there more than ever right now. So be careful if you went to look online for a property, for a car, or to buy something or purchase something online, and you run into a scammer or hacker that's trying to steal from you. Not every ad online is real. Some of them ads are fake and they're just like hackers and scammers, okay? So be mindful for somebody watching if you're looking for a home or something online, okay? Protesting. Somebody's protesting here, okay? Origin and gift. So you planted a seed here, okay? Some of you guys could really be planters or really be having, like, be good with planting or plants. Maybe you need to get a plant in your home. You have plants in your home. These plants are bringing you intuitive messages, being around the plants, the soil, the water, okay? So somebody here, you need to get a plant. And this says origin. So something is like a seed that you planted a long time ago is actually about to manifest with this major blessing or a gift, something that you did um, in good faith. You did something in good faith. You could have helped someone. You could have gave somebody, you know, advice, or you could have been there for someone or just somebody really values you because you're an important part of their awakening. You could have been helping somebody and they're about to gift you something. This could be a gift, a huge donation, a huge financial blessing, or something that somebody left to you a long time ago. You're about to receive it now. Okay. And a protest might be going on. So some, something's going on with protesting. Okay. So there's protests happening. This could be in any part of the world, in your community, in your town, in your neighborhood, or in, in any state. You could be seeing this on the news. A lot of protesting is about to go down in the government because there's a lot of whistleblowers coming out of the woodworks and exposing the truth on earth and in our lives, okay? Triumph. You, you're going to have triumph in a situation. Marriage. Wow. So there's going to be a proposal, and somebody want, is determined to, to marry you. Somebody's determined to court you to date you or to give you this offer of love marriage okay so in this year um a few of you watching this video could resonate you you know you're about to get married if you're not married or you're about to uh take your connection to the to another level okay so marriage 
communication regarding a love is coming in for you guys my beautiful aries let's get right in you're here as the emperor bossing up Re remove the blockages out of your life no more eight of swords energy you, you got out of this energy okay so you're starting to see things clear page of pentacles is that you could be finding out that somebody had a child or there's a baby coming or somebody didn't tell somebody about this child that they had with someone or this is this could be a communication regarding money, okay, regarding finances. There could be a child that needs somebody's help here with some sort of money or finances, okay. You could be, somebody's child could be going to college, so something about college tuition or funds, somebody's going to get accepted or approved for uh, legal aid or financial aid for college, Okay, that's for a specific message. But there's good news coming in regarding money. The Seven of Pentacles is that your money's about to be increasing because you're tur you turned your back on the past. You turned your back on the negativity because you're focused, you see things clear, and you're standing on your truth. So you're about to take embark in a new journey. Make a decision to relocate. Make a decision to just turn your back on, on, on the past for good. Three of Wands, making a decision to do so. So if you were waiting on some sort of information or a sudden payout of money or a certain amount of money, then you're about to have the money that you need to make this decision to take a leap of faith here. Because good news is coming. You've been manifesting this. You are in this high priestess energy, so you're very intuitive. You're glowing right now. I heard Brittany. I heard Beth or Bethany. Jerry. I heard Jerry, Jeremy or James. Janessa. I heard Judy, okay? So yeah, uh, the Eight of Swords is that somebody feels stuck and trapped now because you liberated yourself from a situation. You removed the blinders. You became the high priestess. You stood in your truth. And now this whole community, okay, of people or this family, they're all in shock because all you're doing is manifesting. All your focus is on your stability because you're standing on your truth and you're not, you're not letting anybody trap you with the Eight of Swords, Okay? Yeah, they're in shock right now because they feel like there's something bad is going to happen to them or somebody feels like this um, death energy around them, okay? Some people could just be passing away left and right around certain individuals in your family or in the community or the death is that you could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay, that is in shock as well, okay? Because the Scorpio could have been somebody that was part of this community or family or somebody you dealt with. This person is in shock over your transformation because you had a death and rebirth. Because the Ten of Pentacles is here. You manifested this. This huge windfall of money is coming. This could be put into your uh, direct deposit unexpectedly. This could come in the form of a check in the mail. Okay? This could be something that you manifested for yourself. A pay raise. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Good news is coming in. Pisces Cancer Scorpio is admiring you or watching you and been keeping tabs on you because this person ran out of options. In the past, this person could have kept you as an option or this person had a lot of options and you, maybe you weren't doing so good before and these people were over here on their high horses. That's what I'm getting. Individuals or this person was on their high horse. They were doing good when you were needing their help. They just literally ignored you. They left you out in the cold. They disregarded you. They laughed at you when you fell down or where they were a part of this group of people that were like targeting you okay manipulating things and um bad mouthing you gossiping about you just just trying to throw you under the bus or get you caught up in the two of swords but this person or these individuals ran out of the options to betray you and block you because now they're in the energy of not having so many options while you're doing better for yourself and now this person or these people two of swords gemini libra aquarius is in the two of swords because like i said another one bites the dust that's what i heard another one bites the dust so another one comes in and tries it and they fail every time they fail they, they send somebody new in to try to betray you or get you caught up or distract you but they fail because you're in your full confidence you're not accepting just anybody's offer you're like you're you're really you're really guarded right now okay just know that this gemini libra aquarius they have something to say they want to come in this person feels defeated or they they feel like you know this person feels like if they don't come rushing in to try to make make it up to you and give you a gift or give you an offer or make their peace to you or tell you the truth about whatever the heck they were involved with with this group of people. They feel like their ace of cups is going to be reversed. They're never going to have good luck. They're going to keep having bad karma and they're never going to be able to uh, fix a situation because this person is becoming enlightened or you are enlightened and you 
have these individuals or this person is in shock over that, over this hair fun energy that you're in. You're standing in your truth. You're no longer carrying this heavy burden. This, this person or this, this Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, Sagittarius energy here. They're carrying a heavy burden now because whatever they did to try to block you, blind you from the truth, betray you, and um, leave you out in the cold and, and outcast you, whatever they have done to you, it's not working, okay? It's not working. Or whatever happened, you overcame it. You know, at one point, it, it probably ruined your life. They probably took everything from you or they probably left you with nothing or they probably did the, the worst thing they could ever do, the ultimate betrayal and everything like that. But when you came out of hiding, when you rose like the phoenix out of the ashes, that's when their tower moment started. That's when their karma started. Them having to watch you be in your truth. Them having to watch you heal and stand in your power. Something completely backfired because you are the magician, okay? The king of cups is coming towards you with the sun card, okay? This is somebody you could have a child with or somewhere. Or there's someone that has a son. Or this is just the beginning of a new romantic cycle in your life with the sun card, all right, my beautiful loves, what's going on for the beautiful Aries spirit? Mm -hmm. Earth sign is in despair, stolen ID or lost ID. An earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be careful who you're surrounding yourself with. Somebody could be an earth sign. They could have earth in their chart, but they're trying to get a hold of your ID or they're trying to get your ID. So make sure your identification is safe. That's a specific message, not for everybody. But yeah, somebody's trying to get your ID because they need your ID in order to process some sort of payments or funds that belongs to you, in order to access a certain bank account that has your name or information, or in order to claim some sort of money or inheritance, they need your ID, and that's a specific message. Wow. Ancestors. What is the message for the Aries? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that shit keeps showing itself. Yeah, this there's a male warlock in your energy. This warlock could be a father figure, an ex, a brother, or somebody that a uh, family member contacted this voodoo priest to create some sort of voodoo doll of you, okay? And whoever has that voodoo doll in their house is going to have, is going to suffer a bad fate. And that's what I heard. Whoever has that doll of you is going to suffer a bad fate. This person is going to deteriorate and they're going to pass away. That's what I heard. I'm going to marry you. So somebody's going to marry you. There's a, somebody keeps driving past your house because this person doesn't know how to approach you. They want to talk to you. They want to, you know, make things right by you. They want to tell you they're sorry. They want to do that. But this person is just afraid to approach you. They don't know how you're going to react. Okay. So candle magic definitely backfired on somebody here. Okay. I heard Annie and April. Asia. Ashanti, coming to see you. Somebody's coming to see you with brown eyes or hazel eyes. Light brown eyes or hazel eyes. Somebody's getting pulled over because this person keeps drinking and driving. Somebody keeps drinking and driving. Somebody is a real alcoholic or somebody has a bad alcohol problem. And you could have warned this person, but this person continues to drive while drinking. Somebody's getting pulled over or they're having a car accident. Unsolved mystery. Somebody's death is going to be solved. So if somebody was killed or murdered or somebody died of a, a sudden death, then this mystery is about to be solved. The truth is coming out to the light. Hmm. Car keys and house keys. Somebody's trying to get a hold of your car keys or house keys. So if you lost your car keys, think about who you were around when you lost them or your house keys. That's a specific message. Somebody here has a black truck or car or SUV. You're about to have victory in court. Your ex was involved in the gang stalking and betraying you and trying to harm you. Bisexual secrets exposed. This ex has a dark entity attachment they've been working with. Fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Could be a water sign as well. Karmic females obsessed. Somebody's about to get into a bar fight, okay? This person is very toxic. This person's always drinking or going to bars, or somebody's going to a bar, okay? Because somebody probably goes to a bar, um, the same bar every time. Somebody could have green eyes, or hazel or light brown eyes, karmic females obsessed. Yeah, this person, drugs and alcohol is playing a factor in somebody's life. So this person's about to have a major tower because this person refuses to... Uh, 
go to rehab. So this person is about to get into some sort of bar fight or get pulled over or something's going to go left and this person is going to end up going to rehab or a, a judge. This person could be having to go to rehab. This is somebody that you know or somebody in your energy. Yeah, somebody's house is haunted. It says get out, haunted house. And saving your money. There's hidden money in the treasury department for somebody watching. This could be in your state. Okay, the state treasury department in your in your local area. Somebody's trying to bring you a gift. Somebody wants to like make something fair by you. Somebody could be a coffee drinker. Somebody could be having chest pain. Somebody needs to go get checked out. Somebody's heart is getting like pressure on their chest. Uh, and chest pains or something with somebody's heart. Somebody could have a heart condition. You can get a sudden phone call that somebody had some sort of heart condition and they ended up in... And so you need to go to the hospital. That's a specific message. If you're having chest pains, then go get checked out. Somebody's going to end up in jail. Yeah. Because they try to sabotage your happy home. Or because they was trying, they was coming, somebody's going, like somebody could be coming around your home at nighttime and this person could be getting caught on camera. Or there's a neighbor that's going to call the police on somebody that's been heavily stalking somebody watching this. Sister energy, something's going on with somebody's sister. Lying and games, somebody's been playing games and lying, but yeah, this person is going to end up in a bar fight or something's going to happen with this person. Finding evidence, there's some sort of evidence here. What's this spirit? There's evidence here that somebody literally forged some sort of paperwork or documents or signatures to try to get you caught up or to try to get you put in jail and they fabricated some sort of testimony or lied. There's some sort of proof or truth, finding evidence. Wow, soulmate is here. So your soulmate is coming towards you and you and your soulmate are about to take a leap of faith and be moving in together. That's a specific message. Yeah, gossip and rumors, angry ex. The moon, secrets, love spells. This angry ex but was still doing love spells on you guys. And it has backfired because it made you resent this person more. Because this person did a lot of gossiping and lying and spreading rumors about you. Yup. And then try to use love spells to like keep you stuck in love. This person's angry because you're moving forward and you're moving away. Yeah. You're getting rewards and gifts. You're being gifted here with a divine counterpart. Okay. Somebody here has a daughter. Protect your daughter from this brother. Or oh, there's a brother that was touching somebody's daughter. That's a specific message. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, protect your energy. Do some crown chakra uh, cleansings right now. Cleanse your crown chakras. Coconut milk with your to cleanse your crown chakra, my beautiful loves. That's important right now at this time. Because uh, these people, they're up to no good. They're, they're, they're steady trying to block your crown chakras. Okay, this is your message. I hope this helped. If you need a personal reading, my email is down below. Thank you so much. Till the next time, namaste.